Hello, everybody. It is That Man Synonymous Botch bringing you episode 18, I believe, or 19 of My Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. I'm going to pick up right where we left off and uh, continue here. Don't need Onloff on me anymore. Certainly don't need these boats anymore. In an effort to fend Rus against pagan attacks, Queen Yefemina has granted the Teutonic Order the county of Roslavl. This province has never been fully settled, and many of the population are still heathens. Uh, the noble gesture could help protect the endangered frontier of Rus as well as further the holy war against the pagans. Nice, I guess. Are there that many pagans up here? I guess there's some Savics left in Suomasenkos. There's even some Slavics over here still, Jesus. They lasted a lot longer than everyone else. Anyway. Don't really have any wars I give a shit about right now, but... England still owns this. The research you conduct in your observatory at night is proving deeply fascinating. You can push your studies further, but you need to purchase more equipment for it to be meaningful. We will pay the 30 gold required. Speaking of gold, we have a lot, so... Build a grand banker hall. Here in Almeria. Although we should really move our capital to... Uh, Granada. So we'll build a house Carl training ground there. Burgos! Oh, fuck. Alright. Well, now, once these two buildings are done, we're gonna declare war on Burgos. Send this guy. What else belongs to me? Create the Kingdom of Leon almost soon. Asturias is probably the next easy target, honestly. After, uh... I get rid of the, uh... Watchman Jiggers. But I'm still no match for actual England. Or Italy, for that matter. Ooh, your right to struggle against the heathens has not gone unnoticed. I have dispatched a pap papal emissary just with sufficient funds for you. Thank you, Pope. You can always send someone to start taking Tangiers and said that seems like a good way to expand. Get Zebta and Tangier and stop them from being able to come across the straits so easily, huh? Fuck, did I put the thing? There it is. Put that back where it belongs. Ooh, everyone's getting involved. Help out the Italianos. Who are. Are we fighting in this? Pretty much the entire Muslim world? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Someone wants to kill Agatha. What we should really do is start move, making moves over on Ascalon. <laughs> Try and get Jerusalem without even doing a holy war, right? Some big fucking wars going on right now. You know what I'm talking about? But we're still waiting on these guys. How long is this gonna take? It's gonna be like, I guess we can't wait that long. We'll wait until our domain forces are back. 
and then we'll declare war on Burgos. Is this really all that's left of the Umiads? It's like two fucking... <laughs> a single county and then a couple of things that don't actually really exist? How is he an emperor? Oh, he's an emir, not an emperor. He's also a homosexual, 50 decadence, so... I suppose that explains his fall from grace. anymore. Should probably do it. Got the grand banquet hall. Giving us some free diplomacy. These guys are still owned by fucking So much I can't do because I'm not at peace. Another year goes by, we're almost 1260. Got like 200 years left. these other guys so big. Is Toulouse weak or strong? Hmm, I can take on Aquitaine. Our grand banquet hall is done. Ooh, the studies you have conducted in your observatory have convinced you there are many strange things beyond the no co known cosmos. There are few sources and no one to share knowledge with you, however, but you have heard of a strange old scholar in the Arabian desert who is rumored to possess vast knowledge on the weird. Hell yes, we're going to go pay him. Why does this man hate me, though? Oh, because he's gay, but he's not attracted to me because I'm a hunchback. I see. That will say that in the pa passing six years and going to Arabia has made my character go bald. Her. Steward Baron Sigurd has some interesting ideas on how to improve the economy. Sure. Princess Bjortwin of Andalusia has reached age. Interesting. I'll marry. Sure. The Necronomicon. You arrive at the abode of a strange old scholar, Ibrahim. After some persuasion, he invites you in. You spend, you speak at length, and he tells you of the scholar Abdul the Mad, who knew many things of the strange spears beyond and t of talking beings that are not human. You find out th that Abdul the Mad wrote a book called the Necronomicon, in which he recorded many strange and unholy truths. Ibrahim says that he is impressed by your sincerity and desire for knowledge, and he can sell you a copy of the book tells you to beware, however, as too much intense study of the Necronomicon is said to drive the reader insane. I must have it. I 
Gotta get those brain gains. The world is a dangerous place and deviates plots are everywhere. People are trying to kill my daughter Sinegeth. Seems everyone likes killing the pudsies. Parma. So join me. Take a chance on emotion. No, you never speak to your heart. So join me. Na 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 passion. Na 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 na. Don't stand so. Don't stand so. Don't stand so close to me. Ooh. Maybe wait up, guys. They don't need you folks. Or you folks. Oh, share. On loft. And school. Got a nice clean 30% there. Got some teeth. Let's be incredibly wasteful yet again and just assault everything. So I can gain stressed and diligent if I focus. Working in the observatory, you are often disturbed by strange noises, uncannily large insects carrying away smaller pieces of equipment, and odd human-like figures spying on you and then disappearing into the night before you can confront them. You really struggle to maintain concentration, but I must focus. I could gain diligent and I could gain stressed. I gained both. Stressed is probably not good for me as an old man, but gotta keep working on this. Doing all this while I fucking. What's the word I'm looking for? While I'm fighting Muslims. Put this guy in the oublier. What did I get? Another. Oh, interesting. What I'm going to do is grant land a title, Burgo and loader titles. There you go, Siegbert. You can have that. Castile. Can I create that? Sure. Let it rot. Wow, that's a lot of Umiads that I dragged out of hiding holes. How many fucking Umiads is that? Do Umiads even still exist? Let me look. Sanyo. Yasmin Umiad. 58 living members. Um. Do they own anything? I don't know. Let's just 
My guy's way too busy to deal with all of this, so let's sell the ones I can sell and kill the rest and let God decide. <laughs> Because, you know, my character's far too busy being accosted by fucking elves and smud crabs and shit. Trying to find out the true power of the, the dragon break. Let her rot. Seeing if he can mantle himself onto the Akavir Sultanate of... The Nine Divines. Anyone else worth money? Create the titular kingdom of Castile. I don't want to right now. So. Off with their heads, off with their heads, off with their heads. Off with their heads, off with their heads, off with their heads, off with their heads, off with their heads. We're just gonna cut all their head off with axes and shit. Because we don't want to keep them around and they're not worth any money. And they are all dead. There we go. Or how many living members the Umiads have now. <sighs> He's a drunkard. He's only got one kid. So she's going to inherit and it's not going to stay. Fuck. The book you bought from the Strange Desert Scholar has proven to be quite useful for gaining new ideas and insights in your studies of the stars and what lies beyond. It does, however, contain some quite disturbing texts and images, things that lead towards a level of understanding that might make one mad. I must delve deeper. 30% chance of lunatic. I didn't get it. Apparently someone's trying to kill Bjortwin. Good for her. Much too busy for this. Legalism. Tolerance. Majesty. Hell yeah, Majesty. Whoa, Majesty. Andalusia from coast to coast. How's Hispania looking now? 52%. I'll say my only goal right now is get primogeniture and then set them up so it'll be okay. That, that's my current goal. Once that's done, I might switch. I might not. How's that sound, everybody? I think right now... If I were to decide right now, I would say my plan is to get that set up, get it so it's primogeniture and that uh, it's not about to tear itself asunder, and then after that I'll play until the next nice 
clean even number, a five or a zero at the end. Whether that's episode 20 or episode 30 or episode 45, don't know. Irish Revolt, you say? I'm not even going to try to say that. This is a very long war. <laughs> Me and Great Moravia has, haven't helped at all. <laughs> it's 99% Italian effort while they're having a civil war. We're fucking them over so bad, I feel bad. But not really. Great wisdom comes to those who study the world and learn from it. Your studies of the stars and other things beyond this world have taken you on very strange paths, and your learning has increased immeasurably since you started. So we get another 100 cultural tech. Top of the 200 we got earlier, and we get another learning. Earl Aethelwine is dead, so we get a new spy master scenario. Study technology in the heart of Rashka. I was gonna say, we'll do it in the heart of the Byzantine Empire, because that's like the big one everyone does, but then I realized that the Byzantine Empire doesn't exist, and the capital of it is Serbia, not Constantinople. Mercia is of age, but he still has not married, and he's ill. He doesn't have a son, so Dobroslav, one of his brothers or something, would become the ruler. Why is he not married? I guess because he looks like fucking a blonde Jeff Gerstman. Probably without being as charismatic and cool as Jeff Gerstman. He owns three empires. Gee, Dobrisla, uh, gee, Mercia, how come your dad let you have three empires? Kaitonde. Defending against King Antoine of France and the French war for Queen Mother Bjortoaru's claim on England. Jesus. Really? Antoine Carling? Do I wanna, like, fuck England over and help? It's also fighting Germany. <laughs> Someone's trying to kill Mudra. Why should I give a shit about this? Very few clean, like I'd have to do two to take this. One would get me this. Let's go to your duchies. What's the most I could get out of a single war? Guess Portugal. You are finally certain, absolutely certain, there are things you understand now that lie beyond the ken of normal men. If they knew, or only if they knew. But is, it is the task of scholars such as you to keep and preserve such things secret, lest all humanity go insane with the knowledge of its own insignificance. Um... I could, I will hide this and dedicate myself to other things, or I shall be a devoted keeper of elder secrets. Sure, I'll take Mystic. But I'll still go down in history as Onlaf, Raid Wolves, and the Hunchback <laughs> Pudsy.
Lord's going to war for one fucking county. I mean, he doesn't have any army, but that's still fucking... <sighs> How many allies? He would get Asturias and Ireland in on it. I guess... He could also... Couldn't he also call... I guess he can't call Italy? Sure. We want Almansa. We want the ally, the Italians to help us out. King Torgodorio. Battle horse. All right, boys. To work and dismantle some more English territory. Ah, oh, wow, nephew, you really gotta come help me out. The fucking gotta get El Mansa. Let's see, so should I weigh the risks? It's got 10,000 men. Right now I have raised about 15,000 men. I could waste them all trying to. I guess I won't risk them trying to smash down defenses. I'll just wait for sieges. As boring and slow as that is. Seven hundred men. Jesus. <sighs> another year, another ducket. Is Onlof our Godomir the Black? They both had similar reigns and also both had the fucking Cthulhu event line. Though I actually lived through it, I think. I don't know, maybe he did too? I think he did, because he got the Black from it. So when I die, my heir will get the fucking bugs carried off your dad's book. Men made of twigs snuck into your fucking house and knocked down the door and slid underneath a fucking window and stole all the, your dad's shit and turned into a fucking swarm of locusts and flew off with it. And you're just like, oh, okay, well, I gotta deal with France, so, uh... Sorry, Dad. Can't get your boots back. You don't have your back anyway, so go fuck yourself. Pretty much how I imagine things. Mudra Al Rashka. I really don't need to marry again, do I? Age. Is there anyone that fucking won't cost me shit? Nah. I just won't remarry. I don't really care. Although my domain is too big now. Fuck. Sure, okay. Marry fucking Branamira. Hmm. 
Twice reborn of Croatia died under mysterious circumstances. And now I can invite Bjortwein back. Guess we should go to business again. There we go. A new realm. The king of the Kir Kizes Khan Kokotoy of Turkestan has decided to settle down in Turkestan. That's an actual name of a country. Alright, let's marry my daughter off again. Sven, king of Sweden. Glum, king of Norway. <laughs> Do I want Norway or Sweden? <sighs> Fuck, I guess Norge. He's going to come of age first, so we'll set him up. King Glum. <laughs> mm, that's funny. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere with this war in this game. And we're running low on time. We're already past time. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you're still enjoying this. I know I am, or I wouldn't be playing at 3.46 a.m. two days before... three days before this episode needs to go out, so... Thanks for watching. Love you guys.